This is a quick response video for a user named Dr. Penguin, just a tutorial update for the 1.20.4 version of the Meteor hacked client for Minecraft 1.20.4. So as normal, we're just going to go ahead and go to the Meteor client website, which is just meteorclient.com. I'm going to scroll down and it's going to be the first link. This is the oldest version currently supported at the time of this video. We're going to click 1.20.4 download. There should be a delay. I'm not getting ads just because of the browser that I'm using. Uh, but you may have ads. Do not click anything until this little window that says save as pops up. Next we're going to select the desktop bar in the side corner here. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. Next we're going to go ahead over to the fabricmc.net slash use slash installer website. We're going to go ahead and click this download for Windows button. It's the big blue one. Do not click any of the ads if there are ads. There's none on mine because I've got a special browser. We hit save to the desktop like so. We can go ahead and cross off these links because we don't need them anymore. Now we're going to have this Minecraft game here. If you are running the game you're going to need to close it before you do this. Now you should have these two files, meteorclient.jar and fabricinstaller.exe. We double click the fabric installer like this, should load up pretty quick, and it'll give us this window. If you have third party adware like McAfe or AVG, there is a possibility it's just going to freak out because it's it's a exe file and it's going to be like, ah, just, just let it run, it's not, it's not a huge uh, big issue. I've run this many times, never had an issue with it. Now because this is a historical version of Minecraft that we're running, because 1.21 is currently the latest version, we have to click on the versions box here, and we have to scroll down, and we have to select 1.20.4. This is very important, otherwise it will not work. Nothing else needs to change, we just hit install now. It's going to give us this little window that says, please close the Minecraft launcher. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that, and just hit yes. Next it should load this little fabric loader success window. Uh, if it gives you an error, then I'm not sure what's going on. But normally if there is an error, it just means that you need to download and install the latest version of Java. I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and we can go and cross this off because we no longer need this anymore. A new feature of the Meteor client is that you can actually double click it, and it will open a little box like this that says Open Wiki or Open Mods Folder. And we can actually click Open Mods Folder, and this will automatically open the folder where you're supposed to drag this. Uh, we can go ahead and drag this in. I don't know if it's always done this or if this is a new thing. It's just a thing that Media Client does. If there's anything else in the mods folder, you must drag it out. Otherwise, there is a risk of problems. You can risk it by putting other mods in at the same time. But I would definitely recommend that you just have one mod in at the same time. Next, you can go ahead and cross this off. And you can just run your Minecraft as normal. You can just double click on this guy. We should get an armadillo. And by default, after actually dragging the Meteor client into the mods folder, there should be a fabric loader 1.20.4 loaded after you've run the installer and put the mods in. This should just be the, the installation that pops up first time. Now we can just go ahead and hit play and play again. If for some reason it doesn't launch properly, it could just mean that you need to run the game in a vanilla installation of 1.20.4 before you run the, the game itself in, with the client. And it normally takes a little while for this to load, but I've just skipped ahead so you don't have to sit through that. We can go ahead and open up any world we choose. Or if you're feeling particularly mischievous, you can go on a server. Just be aware that some servers have anti-cheat and some people will just ban you if you get caught using these on servers. There are servers that uh, allow you to do this sort of hacking, but um, most, of them, most of them will not. Alright, and now we go back into the game. We've loaded up an installation. And we can go ahead and hit the right shift button to open the hacks. And we can enable whatever hacks we want. There's lots and lots of different things we can do. I won't demonstrate them all. Um, you can click on the things to get extra settings. You can drag these little bars around by holding your mouse button down and clicking. And you can normal click like you would break a block. That's the left click is to enable a hack. Um, and then to disable it's the left click again. And the right click opens up extra settings. Anyway, that's how you use it. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent day. Goodbye.